we enter the new year, we are taking a look back at some of the most unforgettable stories of 2023, from climate to crime to new beginnings. Fox 33's Alicia Gatewood has our year in review. 2023 had some immense yet historic moments throughout the year. Mandatory evacuations were ordered by the DeSoto Parish Sheriff's Office for Kichai residents after a train derailed spilling 10,000 gallons of acid products on January 29th. No one was injured. On March 29th, traffic was still topping headlines as video showed drivers of two big rigs aggressively bobbing and weaving towards one another along I-49 near the Stonewall exit. Fast forward to June 5th, heavy flash flood waters trapped two men in a vehicle beneath a bridge in Shreveport's Ingleside community. Rescuers entered the water and attempted to bring both men to safety, but only could save the life of one man. McCurtain County Sheriff Kevin Clardy was one among several county officials caught on tape discussing killing journalists and lynching black people on June 13th. If it was back in the day, would that, like, when I take a damn black guy, whoop. To throw them in the cell, I'd run the f***ing yeah. chair. Yeah, well, it's not like that no more. I know. I'd take them down to a mud creek and hang them up with the damn rope. Yeah. But you can't and do that. About it, they got more rights than we got. The state's top prosecutor, Attorney General, says his office and the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigations had completed their investigation and found no legal grounds to dismiss Sheriff Clardy. Back in Caddo Parish on July 4th, Brian Horn was found guilty for the second time in the 2010 death of 12-year-old Justin Bloxham. The decision comes almost five years after the Louisiana Supreme Court overturned the jury's unanimous initial decision in 2014 to convict Horn. On July 27th, a Shreveport woman had the surprise of a lifetime, and not in a good way. After her middle-of-the-night trip to the bathroom turned into a snake-retrieving operation. After completely taking apart the toilet, Steve Kennedy with Steve's snake -tuary, was able to successfully remove the snake. On September 14th, there was a shakeup in city government during a Shreveport City Council meeting. The clerk of council, Shanerica Fleming, was fired through a majority vote, but before the vote, she read a statement filled with profanity and accusations about the council members who voted to terminate her. Councilwoman Bowen told me I should do However, I told her I would work as hard for them as I did for everyone else, and I kept my word. Fleming said she wanted her comments to be on public record. All council members remained silent during her statement. Earlier this year, Fox 33 was the only news station in town to bring you word of Curtis 50 Cent Jackson's visit to Shreveport. Jackson was seen touring Millennium Studios in Shreveport in February, and on November 15th, Shreveport City Council introduced legislation for 50 Cent's production company, G Unit Films, to move into Millennium Studios. And later in the month, Shreveport announces a new sheriff in town. After more than a decade, voters in Caddo Parish had to choose a successor for a long-tenured sheriff. On November 18th, the race for the sheriff of Caddo Parish appeared to be a wash for former Shreveport City Councilman John Nicholson. However, the race came down to the wire, and with all precincts in the parish reporting the race concluded only one vote apart. An appeal was filed with the Louisiana State Supreme Court on behalf of Henry Whitehorn, but was denied. A runoff election will be March 23rd. Ending the year on a good note, the CPKC holiday train made its way to Shreveport and Texarkana, carrying Christmas cheer with light displays and live music on December 31st. It's the train's 25th annual trip through Canada and the United States, aiding food banks and shelves by raising funds, collecting food donations, and increasing awareness about the challenges of food insecurity. For Fox 33, I'm Alicia Gatewood.